Welcome to EPG Patsala. I am Indra Kant from Deshbandhu College. Today, in this module, we are going to discuss about cell cycle. You all must be wondering where do cell come from? How a single cell zygote formed by the fusion of sperm and ova can give rise to complete multicellular organism. And you must be wondering also that how cell divide. So, to have answer for all these queries in this module, I am going to discuss first of all about historical background of the cell cycle. Then we will be, we'll discuss about basic introduction. Then we will move on to cell division in prokaryotes. We will also focus on eukaryotic cell division in details and then phase of, phases of the eukaryotic cell cycle and types of eukaryotic cell division and at the end of the talk we will also compare the differences between mitosis and meiosis. So first of all we will discuss about historical background. Since the discovery of third tenets of the cell cycle proposed by Virchow, he says the new cells arises from existing cell and cell cycle become the cell subject of intensive research. For the first time, Oscar Hartwig described meiosis in CRG. Four years later, Walter Fleming gave the term mitosis. The advancement of molecular and genetic techniques in the 20th century strengthened our understanding of cell cycle and its regulatory mechanism which are going to discuss in the next few minutes. In, you know, in 1974, mechanism of cell cycle switching between proliferative and genote phase of the cell cycle. Later, in 1980, various new discoveries come into light like discovery of centromeres from building uh, rather uh, budding yeast, all the checkpoints and their controlling mechanism etc. Recent discovery which was reported in you know beginning of 21st century, three scientists Hartwell, Tim Hunt and Paul Nurse were jointly awarded Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine for their discoveries of key regulators of the cell cycle. So before starting detailed study of cell cycle, you should be clear about what is cell cycle. Cell cycle is a well organized series of events that finally leads to cell division and creation of two daughter cells identical to their parental cell. Growth and reproductions are characteristic of cells. So all cells produced by dividing into two with each parental cell giving rise to two daughter cells each time they divide. Cell cycle involve two main processes cell growth and cell division. Cell growth is increase in cytoplasmic content but cell division is process when cell finally divides into two newly formed daughter cells. You must be thinking why cells divide means what's the purpose of cell division? Is it same in both prokaryotes and eukaryotic cell? So basically cell divides to produce new cells for growth as well as to replace damaged or old cell. But the, this process of cell division differs in prokaryotes and eukaryotes. If you say eukaryotes that includes protista, fungi, planti, animalia. So two major phases of cell division is DNA replication phase in which DNA copies itself 
and second phase is cell division phase where cell divides the cell content equally into two daughter cells. For the normal development and maintenance of a multicellular organism, coordination of cell division is very crucial across different tissues and organ. Cell division can be coordinated by coordinating time of cell division, regulation of cell division rate. All cells of our body cannot follow the same cell cycle. So, any kind of failure in these crucial events ultimately lead to cancerous growth. Now, you must be thinking, do all the cell shows same cell division? Do all the cell divides throughout their life? Is there any connection between cell division and generation of the variants? All your queries will be cleared very shortly. Frequency of cell division varies among different cell types. For example, cells of embryo divide approximately in 20 minutes. But if you take example of our skin cell, shows frequent cell division around, 20, uh, around 12 to 24 hours cycle and they replace very fastly. If you take example of our uh, liver cell, which retain its ability to divide, but it divides only when required means divides once in every year or two. Few of our permanent uh, cells permanently enter in genote phase of cell cycle and they stop dividing after maturity. For example, mature nerve cells and muscle. Before going in details of the cell cycle knowledge about DNA is very very important and essential which is the instructor of the cell. Chromosomes that is the carrier of hereditary, hereditary information. So all the information required for making a cell part or a complete organism resides in DNA. So before cell cycle it has to be replicated so that newly formed daughter cells get its own complete set of DNA molecules. Chromosome R, thread-like structure present inside the nucleus. They are designated as carrier of hereditary information. Chromosome structure differs in case of prokaryotes and eukaryotes. So, in case of prokaryotes, they have a single circular chromosome attached to the inside of the cell membrane. But in case of eukaryotes, they have around 10 to 50 chromosomes in each cell. For example, in case of human, we have 46 chromosomes in somatic cells or we can say 23 chromosomes in our germ cells. Few plants have even more than 50 chromosomes. Few, you know, terms should clear before discussing cell cycle in detail. Chromatids are the duplicated chromosomes formed after DNA copy. Single chromosomes replicates and forms two identical chromatids. They are termed sister chromatids as these terms are visible in the, you can see in the given diagram. These sister chromatids are held at centromeres and now we will discuss about cell cycle in details. So first of all, I will focus on prokaryotic cell division. Prokaryotic are simpler in their organization compared to eukaryotes. Prokaryotic chromosomes is a single DNA molecules. During prokaryotic cell division, firstly, DNA replicate uh, forms its copies. 
Each copy of the DNA is attached to different part of the cell membrane and cell begin to put uh, to pull a part involving cross uh, you know cross wall formation and finally cell is splits leading to cytokinesis as a result of prokaryotic cell division two genetically identical cells are formed except rare chances of spontaneous mutation in case of prokaryotes for example bacteria parent cells divides to form uh, form to two identical daughter cells by the process of binary fission chromosomal replication takes place by itself and each copy is attached to different part of the cell membrane cell wall form between the chromosome divides the cell now i will come to the eukaryotic cell cycle it is complex compared to prokaryotic cell cycle it involves highly regulated and well organized series of events or phases whatever you say major fundamental events common to all eukaryotic cell, uh, cell cycles are chromosome replication when dna replicates chromosome segregation which involves equal segregation of parental dna the variety of hetero uh, heterodimeric protein kinases are involved in the cell cycle they are main regulator of the cell cycle these heteromeric protein kinases uh, kinases have number 1 cyclin cyclin and number 2 cdk cyclin is basically regulatory subunit and cdk in detail we say a full form you can say cyclin dependent kinase which is a catalytic subunit this protein regulates the activity of many proteins by phosphorylation at a specific regulatory site they can also coordinate the activity of these proteins involved in cell cycle by active uh, activating some and uh, you know in inhibitory uh, inhibiting others cell cycle is broadly divided into uh, two phases number 1 interphase and number 2 m phase interphase is the period between the two cell division it is further divided into g1 s and g2 g1 which is a gap one phase uh, this gap is immediately after cell division phases s phase uh, basically it is the synthetic phase it involves dna synthesis g2 which is you can say gap 2 this gap is between s phase and m phase m phase is the mitotic phase it involve cell division it is further divided into prophase metaphase anaphase and telophase you can even see in the diagram which is mentioned uh seen earlier interphase is further divided into you know earlier study we have seen into three phases that is g1 s and g2 so in case of g1 phase it is the you know interval between mitosis and the beginning of dna replication cell is metabolically active but does not replicate its dna and during this cell prepare itself by synthesizing rna and protein for dna replication during s phase so after this preparatory gap phase cell enter into another phase known as s phase during this phase parent cell replicates its dna which is important which has to be kept in mind is that only amount of dna doubles per cell but not the number of chromosome which is remain the same now cell enters into another gap phase that is g2 in which cell do all the preparation 
needed for cell division. For example, centrioles is made. Synthesis of protein takes place and also you know, uh, cell organelles. This phase is immediately after DNA replication phase, S phase, which is synthesis phase. It is the period involving DNA synthesis. What happened in interphase? So, in during this phase, cell undergo DNA replication and replication of centrioles if present. So, these cells can form bipolar mitotic spandle and cell prepare its machinery for M phase that is actual division phase. Majorly, two types of cell division is observed in eukaryotic cell. Number one, mitosis and number two, meiosis. In case of mitosis, two identical daughter cells are produced and daughter cells have identical genetic makeup. But in case of meiosis, four daughter cells are produced which are dissimilar to parents and daughter cells have half genetic material of parent cell. So now let's move on to the next slide to discuss about in detail about the mitosis. First I will focus on mitosis as it is the uh, most prevalent uh, division which takes place in both somatic cells as well as germ cells. In the process of mitosis, nuclear division involving replication of parental DNA which is followed by cytoplasmic division and that leads to formation of two identical nuclei. For the first time, it was discovered by Strasberger in 1875 AD in the plant cells and by uh, Walter Fleming in uh, 1879 AD in case of animal cell. As a result of mitosis, two daughter cells which are formed are genetically identical to the parent cell. Mitosis is generally divided into five stages, prophase, prometaphase, metaphase, anaphase and telophase. I will discuss these stages separately in details. During this phase of mitosis, DNA which earlier present in the form of chromatin condenses to form chromosome. In this phase, mitotic spindle that plays crucial role in the chromosome segregation also forms and it ends during the late prophase. During prophase, duplicated chromosomes are prepared for segregation. Finally, at the end of prophase, nucleus and nuclear membrane disappear. In this phase, condensing a multi-protein complex associates with the chromosomes causing its compaction. It forms arising around supercoiled loop of DNA within chromatin and another protein cohesin which also plays very important role in holding DNA of sister chromatids together. So, as it is visible in, you can see in this slide, condensin is an intramolecular crosslinker and cohesin, you can see, is an intermolecular crosslinker. Cross so, ultimately, the chromatids of each mitotic chromosomes are held firmly at their centromeres and relatively loosely along their extended arms. 
whatever I have told you, you can directly correlate it with the diagrams which you are, uh, which is available in front of you. On how mitotic spandle forms. So during G1, the centrosome contains a single pair of centrioles that are no longer as they were during the mitosis. So during S phase, daughter procentrioles forms adjacent to maternal centrioles so that two pairs of centrioles become visible within the centrosome. You can easily you can see in the diagram. At the beginning of the mitosis, chromosomes splits. As they separate, the chromosome organize the micro tubule fibers that makes mitotic spindle. You will be amazed to know that formation of even a single additional centrioles leads to the development of cancer. During this early prophase, microtubules appear in a you know sunburst arrangement or you can say aster around each centrosome. Later, these microtubules grow by addition of tubulin subunit to, the, to their plus ends, while their minus ends remain associated with the centrosome. Further, centrosomes separate from one another towards opposite end of the cell. Various uh, different types of animal cells like mouse embryo and cells of higher plant lack centrosome. In these cells, microtubules of mitotic spindles are nucleated near the chromosomes rather than at the pole where centrosomes resides. Another important protein that is cyclin B where CDK1 plays very important role in the breakdown of the nuclear envelope at the end of prophase. Now let's quickly glance at the event that takes place during the prophase. So you can see in the prophase DNA in the form of chromatin condenses to form chromosomes and it becomes visible under light microscope. Mitotic spindles are formed which is required later on. Nuclear membranes and the nucleus disappear by the end of prophase and finally chromosomes are prepared for segregation. So, if you can see all these events in front of your diagram where disintegration of nuclear membrane and nucleus disappears. You will be amazed to know that few of the cell organelles like mitochondria, lysosome, paroxysomes and chloroplast of the plant cells remain intact through mitosis. Dissolution of nuclear envelope mark the beginning of the next phase that is pro-metaphase. In this phase, chromosomes are directed towards the equatorial region of the cell and microtubules that makes contact with kinetochore are captured. In this given figure, which is depicting how DNA is, is compacted in the form of chromosomes during the prophase. This compacted form of DNA is easy to segregate between uh, daughter cells. You can see how exactly chromosome look like this is showing human chromosome 12 from HeLa cell line. On observing uh, electron microscope of mitotic chromosomes, a uh, proteinous button-like structure known as kinetochore 
present at the outer surface of the centromeres of each chromatid. It assembles at the centromeres during prophage. It serves various functions like it is the site of attachment of the chromosomes to mitotic expander. It has several motor proteins which involve in the chromosome movement. It even plays crucial role at mitotic checkpoints. Two proteins, NDC80 and CENPE, which plays important role in mitosis during this prometaphase. NDC80, usually we say canotochore complex, which is present in canotochore complex, is an essential canotochore proteins which bind the surface of adjacent microtubules by forming fibrins. If the chromosomes are, you know, not properly attached from both the poles, it can trigger prometaphase arrest. So, basically, it is involved in spindle checkpoint signaling. Now, let's discuss about CNPE, which is known as Centromere Associated Protein E. Precursor belongs to kinesine superfamily. It is required for chromosomal stability. It can stabilize microtubules at kinetochore. It is very you know, it is a key, uh, key player in the chromosome's movement towards metaphase plate. It provides flexibility and motile linking of kinetochore. It prevents aneuploidy by serving as mitotic checkpoint signal. CNPE also serve to power chromosome congression as we have discussed that microtubules are continuously growing and shrinking at their plus end. Now, question arises: then how can it occur are able to maintain their attachment to the microtubules? In reality, a canetochore make initial contact with side wall of uh, microtubules rather than ends. Canetochore have a tendency to become stably associated with the plus end of the spindle microtubules. So, each mitotic chromosomes have two sister chromatids finally connect to microtubules that comes from opposite pole by kinetochore. Motor proteins which are associated with kinetochore and arms of chromosome provide force essential for chromosomal movement. Microtubules shorten and elongates by loss or gain of tubulin subunit at the plus end. Congression is basically a process of the movement of chromosomes of a prometaphase cell towards the center of the metric spindle midway between the poles. Now, after prophase, next phase is metaphase. It is marked by alignment of chromosomes at the spindle equator. Here, sister chromatids of each chromosome attach to mitotic spindle arising from opposite pole. As you can see in the given figure, chromosomes align at the metaphase plate. Metaphase plate is basically the plane of alignment of chromosomes at metaphase states. Microtubules of the metaphase spindles are categorizing into three groups. Number one, astral microtubules. It determines the plane of cytokinesis and can be seen radiating from the centrosome. Second group is chromosomal microtubules which radiates between the region of centrosome and the kinetochore. It plays important role in the movement of chromosomes towards poles. And third group of microtubules is polar microtubules, which maintains the mechanical integrity of the span. Now, 
will focus on microtubule flux. In the metaphase, spindle microtubules exist in a highly dynamic state. Microtubules appear stationary but is under constant flux. It involves rapid loss and gain of tubulin subunit at the plus end even though ends of the microtubules are attached to the kinetochore. Kinetochore is the site of basically this dynamic activity. Now, you must be thinking how subunit move along, along the you know chromosomal microtubules from the kinetochore towards the pole. As the answer is you know as more subunit are added to the plus end then are lost. So there is a net addition of subunit at kinetochore. Meanwhile, the minus end of the microtubules experience a net loss and thus subunit move along the chromosomal microtubules from kinetochore towards the pole. Now, we revise the major event during the metaphase. During metaphase, chromosomal attachment to the mitotic spindle is established through Kinetochore and chromosomes are aligned along metaphase plate at equator of the cell as it is clearly visible in the given figure. Now, after alignment of the chromosome along the equator, these chromosomes are ready to separate towards the opposite pole by splitting of the sister chromatids of each chromosome. And this phase is known as anaphase. In this phase, proteolysis also play a major role in the cell cycle progression. During this phase, various biochemical and genetic approaches have been, you know, allied, applied to get to gather information on the mechanism responsible for initiation of anaphase. <laughs> APC, that is very very important, have uh, you know two versions, two versions, differ, uh, differing in the type of adapter containing either um, a CDC20 or CDH1 adapter proteins, which alter substrate recognition by APC complex. Here, one more. Uh, component that is SCF which is known as or which is uh, majorly active during interphase and APC which is uh, known as anaphase promoting complex is primarily active during, meta, uh, during uh, mitosis and G1 phage. Now uh, uh, even during this anaphase it is the phase that begin with the splitting of sister chromatids of each chromosomes and their movement towards opposite pole. APC CDC20 is active earlier in mitos mitosis compared to its other version of APC CDH1 until all the replicated metaphase chromosomes become properly aligned at metaphase plate SAC that is usually we say spindle assembly checkpoints inhibits APC CDC20 from eliciting anaphage which is responsible for destroying securing. Securing basically inhibit anaphage so its destruction by APC CDC20 promotes metaphase anaphase transition. SCF and APC activity during the cell cycle is very much well explained in this given diagram. Mitotic cycling that inhibits exit from mitosis are ubiquinated by APC CDH1 
to promote their destruction. The destruction triggered by mitosis G1 transition. During early G1, APC CDH1 is active to maintain low cycling CDK activity, which is required for formation of pre replication complex at the origin. So, now you must be thinking how a cell determines whether or not all the chromosomes are properly aligned at the metaphase plate or not. Actually, actually presence of MAT2, which is the main controller of spindle assembly checkpoints at those kinetochores which are not attached to microtubules send a weight signal to the cell cycle machinery that arrest cell cycle into anaphage. Colchicine, which is commonly used in the cancer treatment, is a mitotic inhibitor drug. It can disrupt microtubules formation which play important role in chromosomal segregation. Now we will quickly review events during the anaphage. Basically, during this phase, centromere divides, causing the pulling apart of the sister chromatids towards the opposite pole through spindle fibers. So, finally, future cells are provided with identical sets of genes as visible in the diagram. So, chromosomal segregation is followed by next phase of the cell cycle which is known as telophage. It is marked by conversion of chromosomes into mass of chromatin on reaching their respective poles. Mitotic spindle in, in this phase disassemble, disassemble and nuclear envelope starts its reformation. During this phase, chromosomes start disappearing until they disappear from microscopic view and daughter cells start returning to you know interface conditions of the cells which I have explained earlier. So after you know this phase uh, of the starting of the you know telophase here karyokinesis nu which uh, karyokinesis means nuclear nuclear division is basically followed by cytokinesis which is the division of cytoplasm so cytokinesis is the final stage of mitosis it differs between a plant cells and an animal cells in case of plant cell it starts in the center and then move towards the periphery uh, means towards the lateral wall. In case of animal cell, a cell furrow, basically a cell furrow appear during the anaphase in the plasma membrane which gradually depends and finally at the end it leads to formation of two daughter cells having their own genetic material. In case of animal cell, plane of cytokinesis is same as occupied by chromosomes during the metaphase. One theory which was uh, proposed by Douglas Marsland in 1950 known as a contractile ring theory and it states that force necessary for you know cytokinesis is produced in the thin band of cortex. Basically, cortex is a portion of cytoplasm present beneath the plasma membrane of that form. Microscopic studies of the cortex reveal the presence of bulk, uh, presence of you can say bulky of actin filament along with small number of short and bipolar uh, myosin filaments. So, telophage, which is marked by conversion of chromosomes 
into mass of chromatin on reaching their respective poles. Mitotic spindle now disassemble. Nuclear envelope starts its reformation. Chromosome start disappearing. Disappearing. So cytokinesis is over. Now these filaments assemble in the plane of future cleavage furrow where myosin 2's motor activity is activated by a G protein called Rho A. Sliding of the filaments of the contractile ring pulls the cortex and attached plasma membranes towards the center of the cell. Location of the cleavage furrow is determined by anaphase mitotic spindle by activation of rho A in a thin ring inside the cortex region. In case of a plant cell, the cell wall formation starts in the center and grows laterally and finally divide the cell. Unlike in animal cell division, plane of cell plate formation is perpendicular to the plane occupied by the mitotic spindle. So now, now just imagine what would happen if karyokinesis is not followed by cytokinesis. In the picture you can see few important you know significance of mitosis. Number one, in mitosis as it takes place in all somatic cell, the daughter cells which are formed have constant chromosome number and they are identical to parent cell. So chances of variation is negligible here. During mitosis mainly which mainly takes place in those cells where growth and development is required like, like as in case of zygote. It is even helpful in wounds repair. It is an important mode of asexual reproduction also. Let us move on to the next subtopic that is meiosis. It was demonstrated for the first time by Van Benden in 1883 AD. It involves single event of chromosomal duplication but cell divides twice. It is another type of cell division which observed in eukaryotes. It occurs in germ cells of sex organ during the process of spermatogenesis and oogenesis. Meiosis is also known as reductional division and this term was given by Farmer and Murray from a Greek word called meum that means to reduce. As a result of meiosis, four daughter cells are formed, four daughter cells are formed, formed which have the half the number of chromosomes and DNA content compared to their parent cells. Daughter cells which are formed as resultant are not identical. Meiosis also generates variations which is very very important. Meiosis involves two major events. Meiosis involves two major events. Number one again karyokinesis and cytokinesis. In karyokinesis where the division of parental cell nucleus takes place and in cytokinesis division of parental cytoplasm takes place. So you can see in this phase there are five there are uh, different sub stages especially in case of meiosis. First, I have told you that is karyokinesis, which involves prophase 1, metaphase 1, anaphase 1, telophase 1, and cytokinesis. Prophase 1, which is little longer, which have further subphases that is leptotin, gigotin, paketin, diplotin, and 
dikinesis. So, meiosis, which ensure production of haploid phage in the life cycle. Without it, chromosome number would double with each generation and sexual reproduction won't be possible. Event is divided into two phases, meiosis 1 and meiosis 2. Meiosis 2 is referred as equational division with a gap in between known as interkinesis. Now I'll discuss these phases in detail. So first of all, we will discuss in detail about meiosis 1. I have already discussed four phases, prophase 1, metaphase 1, anaphase 1, telophase 1 and that further prophase 1 is divided into leptotin, gigotin, pachytin, diplotin and dikinesis. Let us start with karyokinesis 1 or you can say prophase 1. During the first phase of prophase that is leptotin, during this phase, chromosome become visible under light microscope but still it cannot but still it cannot be seen as duplicated chromosomes with pair of identical chromatids ester formation also starts during this phase after left laptotin we have gigotin phase in which we can observe association of homologous chromosome and this event of pairing of chromosomes is called synapsis. Various unanswered questions must be arising in your mind. That may be how these homologous chromosome recognize one another. When this recognition occurs for the first time or you may have question like how these pairs are so perfectly aligned. One of the study conducted by Nancy and her colleagues at Harvard University on East Cell demonstrated that homologous regions of DNA from homologous chromosomes are already associated with one another before laptotin, but due to chromosomal compaction and synapsis during the gigotin, they become visible under microscope. So, due to synapsis bivalent arrangement, it becomes visible. This given figure is clearly depicting formation of synaptonemal complex, a filamentous ladder like nucleoprotein complex which is basis for the formation of synapsis. The end of synapsis marks the end of gigotin and the beginning of next phase called pachytin which is marked by fully formed synaptonemal complex. Chromosomes are still in condensing phase. Here tetra Tetrad is seen under microscope and each bivalent having two sister chromatids form tetrad. Main events occurring during this stage is crossing over where exchange of genetic material between two non-sister chromatids of the homologous chromosomes takes place. Under the electron microscope, a number of electron Tense bodies about uh, 100 nanometer in diameters are seen and these are known as recombination, mo uh, recombination modules. These are the site of crossing over. It contains the enzymatic machinery that facilitates genetic recombination which is finished by the end of Pachytin. Next stage is diplotin. Diplotin is the next phase which is marked by dissolution of synaptonemal complex. 
living chromosome attached to a specific point known as chiasmata. Singularly, we usually say chiasma. Chiasmata depicts the site on chromosome where crossing over has taken place. These chiasmata are made more visible by a tendency for homologous chromosomes to separate from one another at the diplotin stage. Nuclear envelopes and nucleus also starts disappearing in this stage and the chiasmata also starts moving towards the end of the chromosome. In case of vertebrates, diplotin can be an extremely extended phase of oogenesis during which during which bulk of oocytes growth occurs. Diplotin is followed by diakinesis, during which the terminalization is completed and bivalent structure appears like ring. The, uh, the meiotic spindles is also assembled. In this non-sister chromatids of homologous chromosome, only remains attached near the telomeric region. By the end of diakinesis, nuclear membranes and nucleoli completely disappear. In most eukaryotic species, chiasmata can still be seen in homologous chromosomes aligned at the metaphase plate of the meiosis 1. And these chiasmata are required to hold the homologues, to get, uh, homologues together as bivalent during this stage. If they are Arising between a pair of homologous chromosome, the chromosomes of bivalent tends to separate from one another prematurely which led to the formation of abnormal nucleus. So now let us move on to the next phase that is metaphase 1. Here bivalents arrange in, the, in two parallel equatorial planes. Centromeres of all homologous chromosomes are at equidistant from equator, lie towards the pole. Two kinetochore of each homologous chromosomes are attached to spindle fiber of same side. Same side. You can see in the microscopic uh, picture, uh, picture also where I have mentioned the arrow mark. During the anaphase 1 of the meiosis 1, homologous chromosome separates and start moving towards opposite pole. So, in this phase, tetrad is divided into two diets, leading to the reductional division. Chromosome number becomes half. It corresponds to Called, yeah, sorry, it corresponds to Mendel's law of independent assortment. Now, after the separation of homologous chromosomes, cells enters in new phase, which is known as telophase 1, which is marked by reappearance of the nuclear membrane and nucleus. Spindle fibers disappear. DNA again you know, decondenses to form long thread-like structure that is called chromatin. Cell undergo cytoplasmic division that is cytokinesis 1. It is the same as discussed earlier in mitosis. In animal cell, it takes place by cell furrow formation, and in plant cell, it is achieved by the formation of cell plate between cell as discussed earlier. This marks the end of meiosis 1, followed by a gap phase known as interkinesis. This gap phase lasts between uh, telophase 1 of meiosis 1 and prophase 2 of meiosis 2. Points which is important to note is during this gap only protein synthesis takes place but no DNA synthesis occurs. Centrioles replications also occurs during this phase. After a gap phase, cell enters in the next phase. 
known as prophase 2 again few events are repeated it is simpler compared to the prophase 1 nuclear envelopes which was reformed in the telophase 1 it is broken down again chromosomes are again recompacted again they are aligned at metaphase plate but the difference which is observed is unlike metaphase 1 the kinetic cores of the sister chromatids of metaphase 2 but the difference which is observed is unlike metaphase 1 the kinetic core of sister chromatids of metaphase 2 and face opposite poles and become attached to mitotic spindle arising from opposite poles. Vertebrates oocyte is arrested at metaphase 2. This is done by factors that, is, that inhibits APC CDC 20 activation, thereby preventing degradation of cyclene B. So, overall meiosis 2 is similar to mitosis. It is of short deviation. It is divided into two stages, karyokinesis 2 and cytokinesis 2. Events are similar to mitosis. During meiosis 2, sister chromatids separate. This is very very important point. During mitosis 2, sister chromatids separate. So now, cell enters into prophase 2 changes observing during this phases are involves formation of aster from centrioles nuclear membrane and nucleus disappear chromatin fibers condense to thick chromosomes and spindle formed in prophase 2 is perpendicular that formed in prophase 1. This is very very important point rather you must remember I am again repeating that spindle formed in prophase 2 is perpendicular to that formed in the prophase 1. Here you can see in the picture. Now I am discussing chromosomes are again aligned in one equatorial planes and centromeres is joined by mitotic spindle arising from opposite poles at the kinetochore again. During anaphase 2, sister chromatids separates, sister chromatids separate centromeres of each chromosome splits leading to the formation of two daughter chromosomes their daughter chromosomes move to opposite poles you can see in the picture during telophase 2 changes during the telophase is always opposite to that of prophase like nuclear membrane and nucleus of newly formed daughter cells reappear. Spindle fibers disappear and DNA again decondense. Now again cytoplasm undergo division to form four daughter cells. In animal cell it takes place by cell furrow formation and in case of plant cell there is a formation of cell plate. Finally, at the end of meiosis, four daughter cells are formed having half the number of chromosome compared to parent cell. Now, let's focus on the significance of meiosis. It is very significant process involved in formation of haploid gametes or spores by process of gametogenesis or sporogenesis two processes which plays important role in the maintaining constant chromosome number from one generation to another it generates variation which is important for evolution
Now, before concluding, we will compare both the types of cell division occurs in eukaryotes. Number one, both mitosis and meiosis, DNA replication takes place during S phase of the cell cycle. We have seen that in prophase 1 of meiosis 1, synapsis of homologous chromosome takes place, but in case of mitosis, no synapsis occurs. Crossing over, which is an event of exchange of genetic material, takes place only in meiosis, but missing in case of mitosis. Therefore, daughter cells produced in case of mitosis are identical and meiosis led to generation of variants. Now, let's compare the genetic composition of daughter cells produced through mitosis and meiosis. During mitosis, two diploid cells are formed having same number of com chromosomes compared to parent cell. In case of meiosis, four daughter cells are formed at the end of which are haploid. In case of mitosis, lining up of homologous chromosome at the metaphase plate does not occur. But in meiosis, it occurs during metaphase 1. And lastly, sister chromatids line up at metaphase plate during metaphase 2 of meiosis and metaphase of mitosis. Now, comparison of mitosis and meiosis that is all also well explained in the diagram here in the slides. So now, let's move on to the next slide. Hope you have understand what we have discussed till now. Thank you. Mm.